Good morning, Chargers. I'm Jordan Hines, and this is the morning show on CTN. We have a great show planned for you today. I'm Amelia Mack. Happy first day of spring. Even if it doesn't look like it out there, let's go to Mrs. Ryan, who is here to lead us in prayers and the pledge. Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. Uh, today we're going to say some uh, prayers for special intention and for people who have called the school and asked us to pray for them as they often do. Let's begin our day with the sign of our faith. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, we offer you our day of work, study, and friendship. We ask your blessing on all we do today. And we thank you for guiding us through a successful week of caring and protection. For this we pray and taught us, our Father, who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. For those who are sick, and for those in Especially Christopher White. Uh, Christopher White is Mrs. White's nephew, who is also uh, the son of the principal of St. Stephen's School and um, a sophomore in college. And he's being treated in the cancer institute right now. We pray for him this morning. We also remember in the prayer of Papa. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of you and Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. That we may live out the message of our cube of love, which today is to love Jesus and each other, and do the things that he has called us to do today. And we ask, Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me show love. I will I act in such a way that I will be proud of myself, and my family will be proud of me too. I seek to still to learn, and I will learn something new each day. My actions will reflect concern for others I will have on this day. Have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. See you Monday. Ryan. As Amelia said, it is the first day of spring, but the weather outside doesn't look very springy. Let's go to Abby, who's here with today's weather report. Thanks, Amelia. Right now, it's 36 degrees, and as you can see, it's starting to snow outside. The storm is due to drop one to three inches of snow before it all switches over to rain later. Tomorrow will warm up to 55 degrees, and Sunday will be bright and sunny for the Easter egg hunt at St. John the Beloved with a high of 46 degrees. Monday will still be hanging around in the 40s, but I'm hoping things will warm
warm up after that. Back to you, Amelia. Have a good weekend. Thanks, Abby. Lunch today is grilled cheese and tomato soup. We have Stations of the Cross today at 10.15 a.m. in church. Please be on time. Student athletes, please tell your parents that there is a meeting of the Athletic Association next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. in the gym. Our sports program is in danger of ending because we do not have enough parent volunteers to help out. If you would like the athletic program to continue here, it is important that your parents attend the meeting next Thursday. That is important. Our sports program has been one of the best for so many years. It would be a shame to see it end. I sure hope some parents come out to the meeting next week. Me too. Last night, NCAA March Madness action, there were several upsets. UAB, Georgia State, UCLA, and Ohio State all won their games in upsets. Congratulations to first grade, third grade, fourth grade, and fifth grade, whose NCAA teams all won their games yesterday. Teams representing all other grades play today. Games begin today at 12.15 p.m. as number two, Kansas, plays number 15, Mexico State. Just like yesterday, anytime you turn on a TV today, you will be able to find a March Madness game. Other teams playing today are Virginia, Duke, Oklahoma, Wisconsin, and Gonzaga. Keep an eye on how your team does this weekend. Last week, our special end of the week feature was Jay Walking. This week, we're going to leave you with Mrs. Mar Marian and Mr. Zitz playing a game called Word Sneak. Here are the rules. Mrs. Moran and Mr. Zitz were both given a stack of five cards. They did not know what the words on the cards were before the game started. The word that pops up on the screen is the word on the card that they are looking at. Neither one of them knows what word is on the other player's card. It's their job to sneak each word into the conversation that they're having. From all of us at CTN, we hope you have a great week. Don't forget to check out the CTN page on the school website to hear the latest broadcast and get more information on anything we have talked about on the show. Here are Mrs. Moran and Mr. Zitz playing word sneak. Teachers, you may need to turn your volume down a little bit once the video starts. Have a great Charger Friday. Hello, Mrs. Moran. How are you today? I'm great, Mr. Zitz. How are you? Just fine. What's on your mind today? Um, I was thinking of going to get some tacos. Where do you like to get tacos? Um, there's this really good place where you can create your own. You can like tell them what you want on it and stuff. Is it, lo is it local? Yes, it is. We should take a trip there, get some good food. I'd enjoy that. Me too. You know, I was... Um, Heading over to a taco place on Kirkwood Highway, and you will never guess what crossed the road while oh I was gosh. going there. Um, a rascal. It was an aardvark. <laughs> Dear God, have I, you didn't, ever, I have, didn't think those kinds of animals lived around have here. Have you seen one of those? No, but maybe they were trying to find the good guacamole from that restaurant. <laughs> and, um, you know, it reminds me of... Uh, an animal we looked at during Spanish class. You know, we we you know, sometimes talk about animals in Spanish. Yeah. You know, you've, you've, I've done that in yes, first grade have. a few times, so I'll have to look up aardvark. Um, How about gerbil? Can you look that one up too? Gerbil? Yeah. The kids love That's gerbil. The they gerbil? have them for pets. Yeah. I really? Did it. they bring them... Uh, to school when we have a uh, blessing of the animals? Yes, they do, in they fact. They do? Oh. oh. Yeah. Um, have you been to Cowtown lately? No. I told you before I hate that place. 
Well, you know, There's too many people well, there. Well, my neighbor asked me to go, and she told me there were bullfights there, and I had visions of a matador. You know, <laughs> you, you are you still thinking about the Mexican restaurant? I think you're getting them mixed up. Well, you know, but you can get some some good, um, you know, uh, Mexican cuisine at at Cowtown. Um, know? how about we just think of somewhere else to go? Okay. Did you know you can get crab legs, crab legs there too? No, I did not. Well, you know they have a good, you know some they have some of those little carts have a good seafood selection. Well, Do you I, like I, crab legs? No, I don't. Yeah. Do you like snuffleupagus? Well, I like, I like snuffleupagus. Say that again. Snuffleupagus. And is that a new type of seafood? <laughs> no, not at all. Well, what is it? Um, it's a big like. Brown monster like thing from Sesame Street. Oh boy, I miss that. <laughs> yeah. I miss You Sesame should probably Street. take a look at that. Wait a minute. Snuffleupagus. What how do you say that again? Snuffleupagus. He likes to do the Macarena. Is he any relation is it a he or a she? I don't really know. I think it's an it. Well, is it related to Hufflepuff? <laughs> Who? Hufflepuff. I have never ever heard of that. I think Hufflepuff is like a distant cousin Maybe, or something yeah. of one of the they characters kind of on the Sesame same, Street. Though, so I think they probably are in the same family. The only thing about Hufflepuff is it goes meow. With his willy nilly. <laughs> <laughs> Cut edit that.